Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, Jed from Balboa is gonna talk about the Climate Zone 2 Mini and heating efficiency. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so the Climate Zone 2 Mini is a mini air source heat pump that's been released by Balboa. Mini heat pumps are certainly gaining in popularity in the market, certainly for plastic shell tubs. Now for us DIYers and our bigger kind of in-ground models, I don't think they're quite big enough in terms of the, the heat output for those, but for your plastic shell hot tubs, they're super popular and they can definitely reduce the running cost, which is what it's all about with air source heat pumps and our hot tubs. So whilst I was over at the Piscina and Wellness Show over in Barcelona, Jed from Balboa has very kindly recorded a video for me which addresses how Balboa are working on the integration side of things with the hot tub, with the electric heater that's in the hot tub already, and the climate zone air source heat pumps. For me, it was interesting to hear exactly what Balboa is doing in terms of the, the integration. Now, I've been helping people install air source heat pumps onto their hot tubs for some time now. And when you're putting a third party air source heat pump onto your hot tub, you're generally controlling it with flow. There's no direct integration. So it was interesting to hear Jed and his thoughts on exactly why people should look to integrate fully with the air source heat pump and the Balboa pack. Now, obviously you do need a compatible Balboa spa pack, you need a compatible topside control, and you also need Balboa's climate zone too, whether that's the mini or the larger heat pump. So there are some factors here, but I think what Jed's got to say is particularly interesting in terms of how they believe they can increase the efficiency and increase the amount of money that we can actually save on our hot tubs. So before I hand over to Jed, always a great opportunity for me to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on my channel focuses on DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, parts, and pretty much everything in between. Okay, so with that out the way, I'm gonna hand over to Jed and let him do the talking. Jed, over to you. Hi, it's Jed from Balboa here. We're here at the Barcelona Piscine and Wellness Show. So today I'm gonna to be talking about our Climate Zone 2 mini heat pump. We feel that our mini heat pump is the best mini heat pump on the market. One, because it's a very good unit, and it's very energy efficient unit. Two, partnered with the integration and our flow control valve, you can reach optimal energy efficiency uh, to save your customers money in the long term. As you can see, it's a very nice looking small unit here, but with the integration, it will allow your customers to set the heat pump settings up in the way that suits them. So it's a way that that will manage their needs to get the most out of their heat pump in the most effective way. When you add the flow control valve in, you regulate the exact flow that is required for the unit, again, it will increase the energy efficiency to an optimal level. As you know, we've got a range of topside panels that have the integration software uploaded onto it. And we have a selection here. SparTouch Mini, our SparTouch 4, and our TP700. The first thing to notice, if you look on the topside panel, it will tell the customers exactly what's happening with their heating. You notice you've got a heater symbol here, and then you've got your heat pump symbol here. And there's four different colors for them so you can you can turn your e-heater off and it would go gray if your e-heater is on and it's white it means it's connected but it won't be heating at that time with your heat pump unit it's got the same colors there but it has red is obviously for heating if it's blue it means that it's cooling what i'm going to do is go into the integration menu and show you the different options so the first one we look at is the actual climate zone setup itself here we have four options you can disable the heat pump completely you can heat only cool only or heat and cool the speed is very key for energy efficiency it's automatically start at auto smart as it's an uh, inverter heat pump it will idle at a low kilowatts coming in and it will basically decide if it needs to ramp up to a high energy output 
or keep it low depending on the heating requirement. For instance, if your tub just needs to heat from a 38 to 39, then it doesn't need to give it a full maximum power intake. So what it will do is it will keep low to make sure that it's being energy efficient. What we can actually do with these settings is you can set it manually low. So you might be wondering or wanting to keep your heat pump running as efficient as possible and you're not worried about the amount of time that it takes to heat the tub up. So you set it to manual low, you know that you're going to get a very, very energy efficient output and a high COP rating from your heat pump. On the flip side of that, you might be in a scenario like uh, a holiday letter or a holiday lodge where time is very key and vital um, to heat your water up. That way you can set it to manual high and you know that you're going to get a full output from that heat pump. This is obviously, if you look at the alternative and setting a heat pump up as a third party, it's on and off. So you can only have full power or completely off. That way it's not the most energy efficient way of running a heat pump. The third menu is your e-heater settings. So your electronic heater inside the pack on the tub, um, you can either disable it completely, you can have it on auto or you can have it on continuous. So again, depending on your requirements, um, you can set it up exactly for that. So auto, there's a, if there's a six degrees difference between the set temperature and the actual water temperature, the system will tell the e-heater that it needs to engage to, to bring that water up. Once it gets into that parameters, it will then automatically turn up and just use the heat pump to heat your water. Of course, you can disable it altogether if you are worried about uh, being as energy efficient as possible, because the heat pump will be the most efficient way to heat the water up. Or again, from a holiday let perspective or something similar, you can have it as continuous. So that means that your heat pump and your heater will always come on when it needs to heat. So again, shortening in that time, that the water gets the temperature. So by incorporating all these menus, you've got different scenarios that you can then create to either make your heat pump and heater setup work for you, or you can make it as efficient as possible. You can turn your e-heater off, you can put your heat pump onto manual low, and you know that you're gonna be using the least amount of energy as, you, uh, as needed, but you'll be getting a very high COP from there. And so we feel by incorporating that setup and our flow control valve, you're creating the most optimal energy efficient way to heat your tub up. Jed, thanks ever so much for taking the time to record that video for me. So what's the, the kind of summary of, of all of this? Well, I think what we're seeing here is the integration with the control panels, allowing you to turn on or off and adjust the power output of not only the electric heater, but also the air source heat pump is a, is a pretty good way of doing things. I do like the fact that it can all be done by the top side control. Now, as I've said, I've helped a lot of people put air source heat pumps onto their hot tubs. And normally what we do is we put a switch on the electric heater. So we're physically turning it on or off. What Balboa are doing with their integration is, is putting it all together. So you can control the electric heater, which they're calling the e-heater now, the air source, and then you can adjust the, the balance and output as well. So it's a pretty cool way of doing things. The flow valve, for me, this was really interesting to talk to Jed about. The fact that there is an optimal flow rate for all of your air source heat pumps to get the most efficient heating out of them. So what Balboa have done is they've created that flow valve, so it obviously allows exactly the right amount of water to flow through that climate zone to mini and it will make it as efficient as possible for the user. So for me, that was a, a, another interesting takeaway here from my discussions with Jed. So when's all this available? Well, Balboa, they've got it released in Europe through distribution, so you can get these models now. Over in the US, they're not quite there yet, but they do assure me that it is gonna be available soon. Any questions on this, hit me up in the comments. Always happy to hear from you. Jed, thanks again. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.